Okay, so this is just a, a scooter uh, size comparison just to give you an idea of the sizes, different sizes scooters you can get. Um, this here is my normal kick scooter by Addict. I built this up myself and I love it it's got the thick wheels on it and it's right next to my bully bod e-scooter which is also low to the ground as you can see how it's nearly the same height from the ground to my normal ish uh, to my normal scooter this body bod scooter is rebranded from the razor um, air 3 I think this is the uh, yeah it's a rebranded razor back brakes 8 inch Solid ties at the back, pneumatic ties at the front, 8 inch power is here. It's very north wheels, but it's a, a very nice scooter to just scoot around with. And you can actually do a you can kick scoot it uh, instead of using the electric, just like my normal one here. As you can see, size comparison, my quote. This one, the height from the ground. And then next one up that I have is this Cabo Skywalker, Skywalker S, 8S. As you can see the difference in sizing on this one, quite big. But this one here is still low to the ground, which is what I like. I like it, I like them low. And you can see the deck size is quite wider than those two and then from there I come up to the Inokimo X uh, which I've, I've actually um, changed the height of this and put it up with, with these ones you can you can put them low or high I put them high because I use this off-road as well with the off-road tires but I think I'll lower it again because I, I, kind of, I like lowered version better. But you can see the height difference from the ground. Let's see. And the deck is quite wide. It's wider than the um, Skywalker 8S. But the length wise, I'd say they're a bit, they're, they're a little bit. Uh, the 8S comes a little shorter and then comes my big boy the 9 Robert D6 Plus also special off-road beast probably the best be the best one I use off-road is this one and this is massive look how big that deck is it's massive deck high up the ground it's the highest out of all of them I got, all the, I got this dual suspension set up there. Beautiful suspension with the hydraulic brakes. It's a beast of a machine. It it will eat these ones alive. Uh, and then the Indicum will be the next one. And then the 8S. The, although the 8S is actually pretty torquey. And I found the 8S. Um, it, it put me up the hill a bit faster than the Indicum for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's very torquey. This and I'm only 60 kilos, and this thing is very torquey. This thing here is nice to cruise around it and cook and kick scoot. And of course, my manual. I love this thing, and I like my handlebars just above my waist over here. As you can see, most of them are just above my waist, except for these ones here, where I find them a bit higher than my waist. 
because I really have to hold on to this beast and, and hold on for dear life when I'm, when I'm doing off-road but yeah these are the size comparisons of different scooters that I have I have the 10x coming soon so I'll put them all in the lineup and give you an update video on the size comparisons and that cool